Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is a steep-sided canyon carved by the Colorado River in Arizona, United States. Hi, it's me again. Today we are going to learn the history of Grand Canyon. And if you're interested just keep on watching. Nearly 2 billion years of Earth's geological history have been exposed as the Colorado River and its tributaries cut their channels through layer after layer of rock while the Colorado Plateau was uplifted. While some aspects about the history of incision of the canyon are debated by geologists, several recent studies support the hypothesis that the Colorado River established its course through the area about 5 to 6 million years ago. Since that time, the Colorado River has driven the downcutting of the tributaries and retreat of the cliffs, simultaneously deepening and widening the canyon. The canyon and adjacent rim are contained within Grand Canyon National Park, the Kaibab National Forest, Grand Canyon Parishant National Monument, the Wallapai Indian Reservation, the Havasupai Indian Reservation and the Navajo Nation. President Theodore Roosevelt was a major proponent of the preservation of the Grand Canyon area and visited it on numerous occasions to hunt and enjoy the scenery. For thousands of years, the area has been continuously inhabited by Native Americans, who built settlements within the canyon and its many caves. The Pueblo people considered the Grand Canyon a holy site and made pilgrimages to it. The first European known to have viewed the Grand Canyon was García López de Cardenas from Spain, who arrived in 1540. The Grand Canyon is a river valley in the Colorado Plateau and also known as the Colorado Plateau Province, is a physiographic and desert region of the Intermontane Plateaus, roughly centered on the Four Corners region of the southwestern United States. This province covers an area of 336,700 square kilometers, 130,000 mi2, within western Colorado, northwestern New Mexico, southern and eastern Utah, northern Arizona, and a tiny fraction in the extreme southeast of Nevada. About 90% of the area is drained by the Colorado River and its main tributaries, the Green, San Juan, and Little Colorado. Most of the remainder of the plateau is drained by the Rio Grande and its tributaries. The Grand Canyon is known for its visually overwhelming size and its intricate and colorful landscape. Geologically, it is significant because of the thick sequence of ancient rocks that are well preserved and exposed in the walls of the canyon. These rock layers record much of the early geologic history of the North American continent. How was the Grand Canyon made? From ancient inland oceans to some of the oldest rocks on Earth the Grand Canyon is a 1.2 billion year timeline of the Earth's history. Although the Grand Canyon itself only began forming recently geologically speaking, its geologic timeline is a priceless record of the origins of our planet, and a precious gift to both scientists and humankind. Even if geology is not your cup of tea, learning even the basics on your Grand Canyon trip will give you a greater understanding and appreciation of this awesome national park. Keep reading our Geology 101 guide below to learn more about how the Grand Canyon was formed. At 250 million years old the Kaibab limestone is the youngest geologic layer found in the Grand Canyon. Although it is now 7,000 feet above sea level this layer was formed due to deposition from an ocean full of fish, brachiopods, and other marine life. It was the geologic uplift of the Colorado Plateau that moved this layer to its current elevation. The oldest geologic layer in the Grand Canyon is the Vishnu complex, comprised primarily of Vishnu schist, ancient formations metamorphosed into the black schist we see today, which is some of the oldest exposed rocks on Earth.
Many of the formations were deposited in warm shallow seas, near shore environments, such as beaches, and swamps as the seashore repeatedly advanced and retreated over the edge of a proto-North America. Major exceptions include the Permian Coconino sandstone, which contains abundant geological evidence of Aeolian sand dune deposition. Several parts of the Sapai group also were deposited in non-marine environments. The great depth of the Grand Canyon and especially the height of its strata, most of which formed below sea level, can be attributed to 5 to 10,000 feet, 1,500 to 3,000 meters, of uplift of the Colorado Plateau, starting about 65 million years ago, during the Laramide Orogeny. This uplift has steepened the stream gradient of the Colorado River and its tributaries, which in turn has increased their speed and thus their ability to cut through rock. See the elevation summary of the Colorado River for present conditions. Weather conditions during the Ice Ages also increased the amount of water in the Colorado River drainage system. The ancestral Colorado River responded by cutting its channel faster and deeper. The base level and course of the Colorado River, or its ancestral equivalent, changed 5.3 million years ago when the Gulf of California opened and lowered the river's base level, its lowest point. This increased the rate of erosion and cut nearly all of the Grand Canyon's current depth by 1.2 million years ago. The terraced walls of the canyon were created by differential erosion. Archaeologists still debate when this distinct culture emerged. The current consensus based on terminology defined by the Pecos classification, suggests their emergence was around 1200 BCE during the Basket Maker II era. Beginning with the earliest explorations and excavations, researchers have believed that the ancestral Puebloans are ancestors of the modern Pueblo peoples. The Sanagua were a cultural group occupying an area to the southeast of the Grand Canyon, between the Little Colorado River and the Salt River, between approximately 500 and 1425 CE. The Sanagua may have been ancestors of several Hopi clans. By the time of the arrival of Europeans in the 16th century, newer cultures had evolved. The Wallapai inhabit a 100-mile, 160 kilometers stretch along the pine-clad southern side of the Grand Canyon. The geology of the Grand Canyon area includes one of the most complete and studied sequences of rock on Earth. The nearly 40 major sedimentary rock layers exposed in the Grand Canyon and in the Grand Canyon National Park area range in age from about 200 million to nearly 2 billion years old. Most were deposited in warm, shallow seas and near ancient, long-gone seashores in western North America. Both marine and terrestrial sediments are represented, including lithified sand dunes from an extinct desert. There are at least 14 known unconformities in the geologic record found in the Grand Canyon. As the volcanic islands collided with the mainland around 1.7 billion years ago, blobs of magma rose from the subduction zone and intruded the granite gorge metamorphic suite. These plutons slowly cooled to form the Zoroaster granite, part of which would later be metamorphosed into gneiss. This rock unit can be seen as light-colored bends in the darker garnet-studded Vishnu schist. The intrusion of the granite occurred in three phases, two during the initial Vishnu metamorphism period, and a third around 1.4 billion years ago.
The third phase was accompanied by large-scale faulting, particularly along north-south faults, leading to a partial lifting of the continent. The collision expanded the continent from the Wyoming-Colorado border into Mexico and almost doubled the crust's thickness in the Grand Canyon region. Part of this thickening created the 5 to 6 mile, 8 to 10 kilometers, high ancestral Mazetzil Mountains. In late Precambrian time, extension from a large tectonic plate or smaller plates moving away from Laurentia thinned its continental crust, forming large rift basins that would ultimately fail to split the continent. Eventually, this sunken region of Laurentia was flooded with a shallow seaway that extended from at least present-day Lake Superior to Glacier National Park in Montana to the Grand Canyon and the Uinta Mountains. The age of the Grand Canyon is a much debated topic. Up until recently most geologists agreed it formed 6 to 10 million years ago, but new evidence has been brought to the table that the parts of the canyon started forming nearly 70 million years ago. Many geologists now believe that the Grand Canyon as we know it today is only 6 million years old, but separate canyon systems that were much older were linked together by an ancient river that flowed across the Colorado Plateau. This is just a basic summary of Grand Canyon geology as people can and do spend their whole life studying it. For more information check Grand Canyon National Park's page on Grand Canyon geology and the formation of the Grand Canyon.